What's up, guys? Classy grab bag uh, coming at you. I haven't done one of these particular grab bags in probably years. I did, well, I guess technically not one of these particular. I did do the uh, three CD mystery shirt grab bag from a Gore House not too long ago. I think I did that back in March. Uh, what we have here is a 10 CD grab bag from Gore House Productions. Uh, there's a good chance that I'm probably going to own a lot of this stuff in this grab bag just because I used to do these Gore House grab bags quite often when they were uh, readily available through the label. And uh, I have a lot of their old catalog uh, material. This is some older stock that was sent back to the to the uh, to the label from other distros that uh, that didn't sell or. I don't know, it was just old overstock, and they put them in these grab bags. So there's a good chance there's going to be some stuff in here that I do own. I am well aware of that. Not sure uh, what I will do with that stuff. I may throw it up on eBay at some point. I may do it in a giveaway. Uh, I never know. But they posted a uh, post on, uh, it was either Instagram or Facebook today, that said last call for these grab bags. If there are still some available, I will link that up in the description. If there's not uh, grab bags themselves uh, available, I have a unique link that was given to me when I purchased this. It's a 10% off uh, discount. You just hit that link. It will be in the description. You use my personal uh, unique link, and you will get 10% off a purchase at Gore House. So you, you may see something in this grab bag that you want that is on that label. Uh, you can use this opportunity to use that link down below and... Uh, go get 10% off. It looks like my my gray hair is showing uh, pretty bad in this video. Uh, also, if, if the grab bags are available still, if by some chance there are still some left, I will put a direct link straight to the grab bags. But I know that uh, they were getting pretty low on stock. Not going to take too much of your time. I thought it was pretty neat that they actually have these little stamped uh, boxes now with the uh, Gore House logo on there. Not going. I have not opened this yet. Uh, not going to show the shipping label. I don't want. There's some man. There there's some some crazy folks out there, and uh, especially in the comment section lately, there have been been some real crazy folks. I mean, it's it's amusing. I mean, I I mean, keep leaving the comments. The comments, likes. And all that stuff helps helps the channel uh, more than you know. But man, there's been some there's been some some weird stuff uh, going on in that comment section lately. It it has definitely kept me and uh, some people close to me very amused as of late. So uh, thank you. I guess I guess thank you for that. As always, it looks like it's packed up well with the bubble wrap. I've never had any issues with uh, Gore House not packaging stuff properly. So that is definitely a plus. Uh, price point on these, these were $19.99 for 10 CDs. That's $1.99 a CD. And it, if you're in the US, um, you can use media mail shipping when you purchase only C only media. And uh, I think it was like $24, $25 for 10 CDs. You're not gonna get a, a deal like that anywhere else. Uh, I know like international, I saw uh, someone, I believe it was in Canada, purchased one of these and it came out to almost $40, $40 for 10 CDs with uh, that international, I know we're just, you know, country neighbors, but that international shipping uh, still, I mean, that's still a pretty, pretty solid deal there. On the top, we have a Gore House production sticker. And then we have a um, trauma, trauma, traumatomy. Uh, yeah, trauma, traumatomy. I actually pre-ordered this album. It should be on the way. I think this is the third uh, full length. It is the third full length from a slamming brutal death metal out of Russia. So, and then one that I'm not even going to try to pronounce or read that name. That yeah. If that's in this uh in this grab box, we're just screwed because there's no way I'm going to be able to pronounce that. Uh, first up, uh, this is actually a pretty good one. I do not own this one, so I'm glad to see this. This came out, I think, last year or a year before. Uh, maybe it has a date on here. 2019. It came out in 2019. Uh, this is Cerebral Engorgement with um, Cerebral Chronicles. I'm not sure uh, what number full length this is in Cerebral 
uh, Gorgement's uh, discography. They are a pretty solid, brutal death metal band. I do own some material from them. Uh, glad to add this to the collection. Um, definitely, definitely a high point. Uh, I think that's going to be in this grab box. Um, good way to start, definitely. Next up, this is one that I actually do already own. It is a stellar release. Uh, I did not get my copy from a grab bag. I actually ordered this uh, when it when it came out, uh, which it's been out for 2017. I knew it had been out for a while. This is a uh, scrotoctomy with uh, Born to Eviscerate. Stellar brutal death metal there. Um, I'm sure if you're into Gorehouse, if you're into brutal death metal, you probably already know this band anyway. Uh, like I said, I already own a copy of this. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this extra copy, but that is a solid release. Uh, next up, I can tell that this is one that I do already own. I think I got this way back um, in the early days of this channel on a grab bag. It probably, possibly could have been the first uh, Gorehouse Productions grab bag that I ever did. This has been out for several years. I think it came out in 2014, if not earlier. Uh, I'm wanting to say 2014. It may have come out earlier than that. Um, I don't even know if that particular video is still up on this channel. I went back and I made a lot of those older, like those very first, when I very first started uh, doing videos, I made a lot of those just private because uh, they, they weren't very good. I know my videos now still aren't very good, but those those early videos were absolutely... I, I went back and watched some of them, and I, I, I didn't want them online anymore. They were that bad. Uh, but this is pretty good. I do still have this in my collection. Um, this is Coposcopy with uh, Ready for Gore. I'm uh, probably going to get a strike and demonetization just for that, uh, that cover art there. But, I mean, that's what you get with uh, Brutal Death Metal. You, you kind of... You kind of know what to expect. Uh, that one's pretty good. Uh, I, it has been in a couple grab bags, so I guess it didn't it didn't move as well as uh, it, it probably should. I mean, it, it's pretty solid, brutal death metal. I enjoy it. So, like, and I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these doubles. I'll have to I'll have to uh, think on that for a while. Ha well, I mean, what's a video now if I don't do a, a shameless uh, liquid death plug? Next up, uh, this is another one that I do already own. So uh, I've gotten one so far that is new to me. This is Carnal Blasphemy with uh, Liars Made Authority. This is pretty solid, brutal death. Um, it almost looks like it would be thrashy and stuff just from the artwork, but make no mistake about it. This is some, uh, some pretty brutal death metal, and maybe that's the reason why it hasn't moved just because it doesn't look like it fits into that uh, brutal death scheme uh, with this stuff. But it, it is pretty good. You can find copies of this fairly cheap as well, but I, I dig it. Nice. Uh, this is one that I do not own. Uh, this I think this came out in 2018. 20. Yep, 2018. So I, I'm stoked to, to finally get a, my hands on a copy of this. Uh, this is Scum Pulse with uh, Rotten. There we go. Usually, uh, when when you're looking at something and it has that that uh, Gorehouse Productions moniker, that Gorehouse Productions logo on it, you know you're getting some brutal death metal. Now there are different, you know, different. Uh, I don't want to say subgenres. A brutal death metal but i mean there are different sounds within brutal death metal and uh but they do encompass a lot of those you get a lot of like slam stuff you get a lot of just straightforward brutal death metal uh this actually is a a very solid release i did an album spotlight video for this particular release several years ago 2017 i'm wanting to say um let's see let me try to look in the lighting see 2018 uh I, that video is still up on the channel so if you would like to go back and watch an album spotlight uh this is a cryptic enslavement with perverse hallucinatory descent but uh there's definitely an old album spotlight video i may have done a giveaway on that particular video i do not remember but uh very solid stuff there. Obviously, I do already own a copy of that, but it is good. 
Uh, next up, we have an EP. This EP, I, I think it, it's very short. It runs probably about 12 minutes long uh, from this Japanese brutal death, a little bit of grind going on. Um, this is uh, Bleed Dead with uh, Musma Dorshimi. I actually did the uh, the bundle deal back when this uh, originally came out. I bought the, the disc. And it came with a t-shirt and I have that t-shirt somewhere. I don't know. I'm finally getting able, as you can see from the dying fetus, this is not a new shirt. I've had this shirt for probably going on 10 years and I have not been able to wear this shirt for probably going on mm, 10 years. So I'm excited to, that I'm able to, uh, to get into some of this, some of this clothing that I've held onto for some reason, uh, for this long but this is just technical, brutal, grindy goodness from Bleed Dead. I, I love this. Um, I believe uh, Sean Count Blagrath was the one that actually introduced me to this. So, good stuff there. Uh, next up, we have uh, Eternal Rest with the Picture of Hatred. This one is absolutely new to me. I am not familiar with uh, Eternal Rest. Uh, this came out let's get, 2019, so it's fairly new. I, this is going to be a, a completely new listen to me, so I'm looking forward to uh, checking this out. I know I said 10 years. It hasn't been 10 years since I've worn the shirt. It, has, it, it feels like 10 years. It's probably been closer to 5 or 6. But And then I got two more in here. Empty box. I'm going to save that box because that would be a good shipping box. And I do own uh, these two as well. This one I actually got in the uh, Severed Records, that big 100 uh, CD uh, grab bag that I did. Uh, I guess it's been about a year ago now. This is a uh, Guttural Corpora Cavernosa with uh, You Should Have Died When I Killed You. Pretty solid stuff. I have only... I, I've honestly probably only given my my copy of this maybe one maybe two spins uh when i got it when i was working my way through listening to uh that stuff in that big grab box there was a lot of material to go through i may have to revisit this now that i've gotten it in this gore house uh grab box as well i did enjoy it from what i remember uh, it got to a point with that huge grab box. There was so much brutal death metal that it, I was just getting overwhelmed. I was getting stuff mixed up. Things were starting to sound the same. So I don't remember a ton, but uh, I definitely want to go back and revisit this now just because it is in uh, this grab box. And then the last one is uh, very funny. I do already own this. Uh, this is Clit Gore with Stories of a Bloody Clit. Yeah, I mean, just from that name, just from that artwork and from that item uh, that album title, uh, you kind of know what you're getting into with this. I mean, it's brutal death metal. It has that uh, almost that gore grind, that grindy, filthy type stuff going on with this. But uh, it, it is it's a pretty fun listen. Um, is it is it reinventing the wheel of anything? Absolutely not. But it is a pretty good listen nonetheless. So I mean, I got out of that. I got. I mean, I, I got three uh, new ones I can listen to, and I'm not sure what I would do with these. Like I said, I don't know if I'll do, end up doing a giveaway. Uh, I may uh, throw them up on eBay. I may trade them. I'm not sure, but uh, there is some good material in here, especially if you're if you're not um, if you if you're just being introduced to Gore House. Uh, this is a good way to uh, introduce yourself to stuff on their label. If you if you missed out on the 10 CD grab bags, they do have that three CD and a t-shirt uh, mystery bundle. It's like 25 bucks. That's a that's another good way to kind of introduce yourself into some of their discography. They have some good stuff on there. I actually uh, have uh, been happy that I've kind of gone back and started re reworking my way back into into their discography. I was kind of away from Brutal Death Metal as a whole uh, there for a while, so I, it's kind of come full circle um, where I'm uh, getting back into it and listening to it a bit more. That's all I've got for this video. Like I said, there is a link in the description uh, for a 10% off. You just click that link, go to their web store, and it automatically applies the, the discount to your cart. And then uh, 
If you don't want to do that and you want to go just get the actual um, grab bag mystery box, if it's still available, there will be a link. If not, I'll just put in the description that, that it wasn't, uh, that it was sold out at this point. But like I said, that's all I've got for today. Stay classy, stay metal. I will see you all very soon. I promise.